Welcome to Worth Reviewing, and this is the Volkswagen Polo GTI. It starts at 28 grand, and it is a very good looking car, and hopefully it drives as good as it looks. Now, I'm gonna literally gonna jump in the driver's seat, give it a spin, talk you through the interior as I'm driving, and I'm also gonna launch it. So let's jump in and take it for a spin. So this has a two liter petrol engine with 207 PS, which is around about 205 brake horsepower, launch to 16 in 6.5 seconds, 320 newton meters of torque, seven speed auto DSG, right, okay. <laughs> See, <laughs> that's, that's the whole point of having a hot hatch. It's supposed to make you smile in that way. It's supposed to feel lively. It's supposed to feel spirited at the corners. And it does, it just feel, it, it, it feels good. It feels really good, actually. It feels keen and energetic. The engine feels ready to go for it. I've recently, as in, recently, as in a few hours ago, drove the, um, Volkswagen T Rock R, and that is about £39,000 base price. And this drives miles better just from the instant you just pull away. It's just a lot more, first of all, being a lot lighter, so a lot lighter, about 200, 300 kilograms lighter. This is around 1,350 kilograms. Feels a lot more responsive. Being a smaller uh, car, shorter wheelbase, it feels more nimble and agile at the corners. The steering feels a bit lighter actually compared to the T-Rock actually. Let's go around some bends, see what it's like. It's manual mode. That's playful, that is, a bit of playful. Traction control was interfering with my uh, input as the driver, but <laughs> it makes a good noise as well. That's, that's good, that is. It makes quite a louder engine tone. I like this car, I like this car a lot actually. I wasn't too sure what it's going to be like because this seems for some reason in my head it seems a lot more sensible and a lot more adult like compared to something like the ford fiesta st like i've said but it's not it's it's a lot more playful i would say the fiesta st is more nimble and more playful compared to this car but that's not to say this car isn't playful whatsoever it still is really good so let's talk about the interior now for a car that starts at 28 grand, I believe this car is around about 30 grand. You don't get leather seats, which is a bit of a disappointment. I'm not really a fan of the red inserts around the Polo, but that's part of the Polo. They've bought the design from the Polo along from the years it's been alive because the Polo has been going for almost 50 years, I believe, 48, 49 years. It's quite a long time for the Polo to wear the GTI badge. It's an impressive number of years that is. But the interior, I, I like it, um, but comparing this car to, again, something like the Ford Fiesta, I would pick the Ford Fiesta over the interior of this. Um, I prefer the infotainment system in the way that it's just the layout of it. Um, but I've got to be honest, when I say I prefer it, there's nothing really I dislike about the infotainment system. I suppose it's because I'm used to driving forwards, I'm used to the system. Um, but there's nothing really to dislike about this car. Now, the question you might be asking me, or question you might be asking yourself is, um, this or the Fiesta ST? Now, I will say something. I'm taken back by this car because it's a lot more fun than I'm, I imagined. However, I would pick the Fiesta ST. One, because I prefer the look of it, both on the inside and outside. And secondly, is this there's an automatic transmission here. And for me to enjoy the hot hatch for its full potential, I've got to have the interaction here, and there's no interaction at all. I don't wanna sound like I'm all boring and old and whatever, but I do prefer a manual gearbox and a hot hatch. It's what makes you interact as a driver with the car, and I've got no interaction. I've got these flappy paddles, but that's just boring. You press it and nothing happens. It changes gear for you. It's, there's no fun, there's no sensation in that at all. But, if you are not bothered about having a manual gearbox, I would say both of these are really good and I'll test them both out if you're looking for a fun hot hatch that's less than £30,000. 
please subscribe to my channel if you liked. No idea. They're just waving at me because I've got a camera on my car. Hello back to you, whoever you are. Um, guys, hit subscribe. Thank you all for watching Worth Reviewing and I'll see you in the next video.